Uh, we like to see it. Thank you so much, Maggie. Developing now, Marine veteran Paul Whelan, Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gerskovich, and Russian-American radio journalist Alsu Kermashiva, now back in the U.S. and here in San Antonio. They were among 24 people released in a complex prisoner swap yesterday. They landed at Kelly Airfield around 3.30 this morning after flying from Maryland, where they were reunited with family. They also met President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. This morning, our Ken's Five Earl Stoudemire is live outside Brooks Army Medical Center with the latest on their treatment. Good morning, Earl. Good morning, Jessica. Once Paul Whelan, Evan Gershkovich, and Elsu Komershova's plane landed down at Kelly Field this morning. They had a brief debrief and they went with Army staff. Now they're here at the Brook Army Medical Center. This is footage of the moment the three got off the plane just before 3.30 a.m. and they first landed in Maryland to spend time with their families before boarding a flight to San Antonio to be treated and undergo medical checks. There they'll get whatever care they need as long as they need. It's likely the three would take part in a program at BAMC that helps Americans acclimate back to normal life after being detained. And as you said, Jessica, President Biden and Vice President Harris were also at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland to greet the returning Americans and had this to say. My job is to make sure, number one, they don't get them. If they do, we get them back. I don't buy this idea that you're not gonna let, you're gonna let these people rot in jail because other people may be captured. This is, this is an incredible day. And, uh, you can see it in the families, and in their eyes, and in their crimes. Eight prisoners were returned to Russia. Among them was a convicted murderer who was serving a life sentence in Germany. Russian nationals were also released from the U.S., Slovenia, Poland, and Norway. In the last three years, the Biden administration has been able to release 60 people who were hostages or people wrongfully detained who were Americans, including the basketball star and Olympian Brittany Griner, who also spent time here at BAMC. Reporting live, Earl Sotomayor, Ken's Five. Thank you so much, Earl.